So this is a short overview of the new MCC content manager. Part of what we'll go through here is also the MCC content manager wizard where we will need to be able to understand the choice of three different MCC flavors, MCC Melody, MCC Classic and MP Lab Harmony. We'll also show you how to reopen the content manager. Let's get into it. As we open MP Lab X, it is not possible to open MCC. So we first have to create a new project. I'll use the Q41. And now with a new project open, it's possible to open MCC. So the content manager wizard opens and presents us with a choice. This particular device is supported with MCC Melody and MCC Classic. If I had chosen a 32-bit device, MP Lab Harmony would have been an option. So MCC Melody supports the MCC Builder, content versioning at the driver level, an iteration of MCC generated code and works both on and offline. Whereas MCC Classic is the development process you might be accustomed to with MCC and all the components and libraries that you've used before. Now, if I wanted more information on some of these features, I'd be able to click here for the Melody Help, which opens the MCC Melody technical reference. Here, I'll be able to get an overview on some of these features and what they mean. Here we have the MCC Builder showing dependencies between project components, for example, crypto auth lib using an I2C simple driver. Also, we see that we have the firmware portability described as we see a component interface for an example peripheral driver. One of the determining factors of which of these flavors of MCC you might choose has to do with the associated content libraries to see which firmware content is supported in each. So here we can see different libraries and which of these are supported in MCC Melody versus Classic. We can find information about Harmony here. And you're able to very easily navigate the Harmony documentation and find out more. So if I had to select MCC Classic, you'd get to a screen where there's some required content and then you'd have some optional content and from here you'd be able to make a selection. From here we can go back to content type before making a final decision, selecting MCC Melody this time. So here we see optional content both from libraries and drivers this time. We won't select anything additional yet since we are able to add this later in the content manager, but click finish to start downloading the required content. When the MCC Melody project is created, you'll see the MCC Builder open on the main screen. In device resources under libraries, we just have data visualizer see under individual drivers as well but say we're looking for a different library there's a couple of ways that we can open the content manager we can either open it directly from the content manager here or under core versions we can see that libraries may be updated in the content manager and clicking on this will open the content manager so we were interested in some more libraries here we could look for uh, TCP IP Lite. Here we see the different versions. From these drop down list here, we're actually able to see release notes. So this is the release notes of the TCP IP library. For the TCP IP Lite stack, we have the latest, and now we want to try and run that over Ethernet. So we'll select the latest there and click apply. And now you can see that both 
the TCP IP light stack and the Ethernet drivers have been added to device resources from where we are able to add them to our project. So here you can see that the TCP IP light stack has an Ethernet driver as a dependency. Okay, so that's an overview of how the content manager works. If we wanted a little bit more help on the content manager, this question mark here will directly open the content manager help. Linked in the video description, besides a link to the content manager help, you'll find technical references for MCC Melody and Classic, as well as a video about using the MCC Builder.